Hey guys, and welcome to Rosemary Beach. This is absolutely one of my very favorite places to visit. It's located right by Panama City Beach on a road called 30A. 30A splits Rosemary Beach in half, so part of it is on the north side and part of it is on the south side. And we're gonna take a little walk down Rosemary Beach. We're gonna start out by the green space, which is right by 30A and head down to the beach. First up, we're going down this little street and they have multiple shops here and also there is a coffee shop around the corner so this will get you started with shopping and your coffee. Right across the street is a clothing store, Oko. And also right next door is Pescado, which is a very nice restaurant with rooftop dining. Right at the top of Main Street, you're going to find the post office and the town hall, which are some pretty cool buildings. And the look down Main Street is so cool. I love this town because it has that European flair with the stone streets and the balconies and the colors and just really a neat little town. We're gonna head down the right hand side and check out the shops and restaurants. A couple of the popular places being Cowgirl Kitchen and Pliables. And Pliables I really think is adorable. Definitely check it out. And just beyond Pliables is Nail Garden and Gigi's Toys, which is really cute. There's also Edward's Food and Wine, which is fine dining. And then down at the end here is a cafe and coffee shop. I really like the vibe in this cafe. It's very warm and welcoming and it's just very cute. And we're going to head over to the green and they use this space for you know, various events throughout the year and it is also access to the beach and this beach is absolutely beautiful. You do need a code to get in so if you are a resident or you're a guest staying here that will work just fine but if you're visiting the town or just coming through and just checking things out you won't be able to swim at this beach. And that beautiful building facing the green is the Pearl Hotel quite an icon in this little town. And they also have a restaurant on the top with rooftop dining. All right, and here's our map where we are. We're gonna head back to where we started. We're gonna go on the right-hand side of Main Street and loop around on the northern side of 30A. And at the top of this hill is CK Feed and Supply. And this is where you can find gourmet food to go. You can get dips and chips and wines and all kinds of things there. There's also a Sugar Shack, which is a very popular candy and ice cream shop. And Exvoto, which is a vintage clothing and jewelry shop. And there's some green space right across these shops, but I like to take a look at the street looking back. This is going towards the beach. That would be going towards the beach. And one of my favorite boutique shops is right at the corner. And this shop is just great. It smells amazing, by the way. They actually do sell from local people and they also make some of their own products. And Restaurant Parody is on the end here. It's just lovely. There's some outdoor seating and it looks like a really nice place to have dinner. All right, and we're gonna cross 30A and go check out what is north of 30A. And I love this road. Coming into town, you're gonna to get a tree tunnel, which is just lovely. And right by the road is the farmer's market area. It's a green where they normally have the farmer's market, but it's on Sundays and it's just really cute. We're gonna take a look. There's a few shops along this whole row. And also at the very end is Charlie's Cafe. Let's check it out.
Here's the view of the street looking back from Charlie's Cafe. And here's Charlie's Cafe. They have donuts, they also have ice cream and sandwiches. It's actually a really good place to grab some breakfast. That building actually has a surf shop and bike rentals. And we're gonna head across the street to the ice cream shop. And right behind Kilwins is a spa. One of the most popular things to do on 30A and Rosemary Beach is not an exception, is rent bicycles. So this is the Bamboo Bicycle Rental Company. And continuing around the circle, you have the Hidden Lantern Bookshop, which is actually a really cute bookshop. They have a sitting area in the back to just check out some books. So yeah, it's definitely worth checking out. Down the street from the bookshop is Amavita. And this is actually a really nice coffee shop with a lot of places to sit. Right next door is Cork and Barrel Bottle Shop. And lastly on the end is Galleon's Cocktail Lounge with outdoor seating as well. Very cute on the corner. And lastly I want to mention about Rosemary Beach. It's actually really close to a couple different places. One is going to be Seacrest and that is just a couple minutes walk or bike ride away. And you have Peddler's Pavilion with a lot of different shops and restaurants. Plus they have like a little grocery market which is really nice as well. So just keep that in mind. And on the other side is Inlet Beach, and that one's probably a little bit further away, but you could bike still. They have a bike path that they're improving. They're actually making it go across 98, so you'll get access to a lot more restaurants and shops as well. And that will do it for my tour today of Rosemary Beach. I hope that you guys enjoyed, and I will see you soon.